Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone, it's your boy Widowed again here, about to crack on with day 17 of our third season here on One Hour Limit Locked. We had a sick day yesterday, we made so much progress. Got all the way up to our 48 Slayer goal, and now we're going to claim ourselves miscellaneous at the start of this day and do our burbs and herbs before actually making use of that slay level. All right, I think mahogany and the herbs is what we want. Don't have too much money in there at the minute, but there is some more for that. Let us get ourselves onto the birds. Yeah, we're gonna be going to start Perilous Moons today. I'm, I'm excited. We've been building towards this quest for a long time now, and I'm not planning to finish it today, but I am planning to get a decent way into it, up to the point where you need to do a run off the dungeon, is the plan. It's weird, I feel like I'm getting back into the flow of recording normally now since yesterday's was live. I've decided I'm not gonna edit that one by the way. I feel like there was like, aside from the first 10 minutes being a lot quiet, it was pretty packed throughout with things happening, so at least conversation if uh, nothing else. So I'm just gonna leave that one up as a, a full hour, I think it was a pretty good hour. Yeah, so I'm planning to progress perilous moons up until the point where it wants us to kill the bosses and then i am gonna stop and kill sulfur nagawa until i get 60 attack which might not be too long we might be able to get there today i don't know but once we get 60 attack we'll be able to buy dragon weaponry for each of the three styles which will be pretty cheap a couple hundred k and let us uh, have an actual shot at doing the bosses at such a low combat level because we do still have a super low combat level. Like, I can't really wear much defensive gear even with 60 defense, which kind of sucks because the moons hit hard, but I'm hoping we'll be okay just using lots of resources from inside the dungeon. Got the right runes, yep, all looks good. Doesn't look like we need anything fancy for this quest. You get all that shit in the quest, so yeah, we literally don't need to bring anything with us. Although we do want combat gear with us at the start, in case we have to kill that Sulfur Nago before we can get into the city. 43 farming coming in hot. For the first time today, we are going to actually get to consolidate our cash stack a bit. We do still have 400k in miscellaneous, but we ought to sell a lot of the items yesterday at the end of the session that we've been holding on to during our Slayer grind that we no longer need. At least we put them in the GE. I'm not sure if we sold them all instantly or if any sold today. It looks like a black mask and a cannon piece is sold. I think that might have been the last cannon piece. So. And our Renars have sold now, which is nice as well. So yeah, I think we have most of our money together now. And it should be quite a lot, especially if these Renars just sell instantly as well. So I'm excited to see what that number is when we finish this farm run. It has got to the point now where our farm runs are pretty quick and efficient. They take us about seven, seven and a half minutes at the start of each day, and it doesn't stray far from that. And I can do it without really thinking about it at this stage, because I'm used to doing it once a day, back in the habit. Because I'm not on the habit in my main, I never fucking farm on my main. <laughs> Except for the seaweed I'm growing at the minute, because I did get my third set out yesterday. And now I don't have a level to use it. Fuck, where do we have left? Camelot. I did them in a weird order today, compared to what I usually do. Okay, there's all our in our planted. Now we do need to stock up on seeds though, so we can't really blow our cash stack on something if uh, if that was what I felt like doing. Okay, let's just pop over to the GE. Do we not have any wealths? Holy shit! Okay, 
Okay, what have we got to sell? Oh, look at all those lovely fucking herbs right there. That is making me pop a boner, I'm not gonna lie. That is beautiful. I can't be asked to clean any of them though, because I'm being lazy. And we got a bunch of mahogany logs as well. So how about we just take 300 of those out? Should be plenty. I think we are good. Okay, let's get to work. <sighs> Okay, we've got 3.6 mil here, about 400k still in the G that hasn't sold yet. Not bad at all, I do want to get myself some wealth though and some seeds for tomorrow, so that is going to take us down a bit, we're not going to be able to afford a brimstone. Ah, uh, let me just try and consolidate some of these a little. What is a brimstone? Way too much at the minute, way too much. We can't afford that, unfortunately. Alright, what's the damage on Renar Seeds today? I'm not a fan, but... Take what we can get. 3.2 mil, currently. We're alright with that. We're okay with that. We do need a wealth desperately, though. So let's just make sure we buy one. A premium. That's it, right? This is, like, all we need. I guess I'll take one dose of each of these, and then we won't have built the thing at bench originally, so that might be handy. We get the teleports. Don't think we need air runes, do we? For... I think we are good to go. Okay, so we're going straight to counter room. Built the thing yesterday, right at the end of the session. And we're going to space for all the dialogue with the racist dwarves. Is it quicker to just fly? I feel like it's quicker to fly. We'll see. Do we get an extra plus four against this one as well? Does not look like it. Free melee work against these. Okay, it does. That's why I was... Yeah, we're, we're gonna be absolutely chilling once we get in here. I can't wait. I can't wait for y'all to see how good this method is actually gonna be for training our combat stats. The best part about it is, it's free. Everything's free. We don't have to pay upkeep cost on potions or food. We just get to sit there gaining XP without worrying about it. Maximum. Don't have to flick. Unlimited prayer. That's right, folks. Unlimited prayer inside the Naplesley dungeon. And we are finally in the city of Camtarum. I don't care if you're watching me, mate. I'm gonna fuck your mum before I leave. And the baker a nice home-cooked meal. I have manners. God, I'm tired of... Oh, I'm watching you. We're gonna get a good half hour, I reckon, training on these sulfurs. I think I'm just gonna start calling them sulfurs, because... Nagua is a weird word to say. It's a long name, Sulfur Nagua. Actually, fuck all that. I can call them whatever I want. I'm gonna call them dweebs. We're here to kill some dweebs. Here are our dweebs! We can stop right now and kill them if we want, but we don't have our unlimited prey yet. So I am just gonna keep up the prey melee and run through this area for the moment. There we are. Get our run energy restored, very nice indeed. Wait, why is it telling me to return to the antechamber? Can I not go through? Please tell me I can go through. Pretty sure this is how I did it when I did it on one main. Yeah, we're fine. That was weird. How about we just get ourselves... Oh, It won't let me do shit yet. I was just gonna get some food and potions to run around with. <sighs> Make me feel a little more comfortable about the random things hitting me. Well, I don't know. I've gone back to the antechamber like it's telling me for some fucking reason. Rather than just going through the link. Can I get them off? No, I don't have the little level. Last one. Okay, back to the antechamber. Okay, return to Camtarum. Get these ring crafting things enchanted or whatever. Here comes Torag. Look at him go. How's he actually putting something into a fire when he's got both his hands full? Bad thing. Did I bring these or did I get given these? Because I don't need them anymore. East, north, so like this way. Is it in the same place every time? Because if it is, I know exactly where it is. West, south. Oh, there we go. Man, I forgot how much random shit there was to do in this. We are almost to the boss portion though. And there come our ring of wells. Right, excellent. We're actually going to be able to make potions and shit now. Do you think that's enough? What? Why am I still fishing? What is going on? Okay, so we don't need any of this shit now. Let's just get rid of all that. Get some herb loss supplies. Get some herb loss. Get some herb loss supplies. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? To do it twice. Oh, I need the hunter supplies and the knife. Whatever. We'll leave it there. I might end up leaving this place anyway, and then all these potions will be wasted. 
I haven't set them to use yet on the shift click. Okay, swap shift click to use, and then I can just like combine the doses very easily. Two lizards. Northeast entrance to stream bank. Why? Why is it telling me to go there? Oh, I used all my fucking dust and then dropped it. I'm a fucking idiot. I am an absolute idiot. Look at all this grub paste on the floor that I need. Moron. Okay, use a knife on the... No, no. Oh, I didn't mean to pot then. Okay. This is painful because of all the mistakes I keep making. Not for any other reason. We're about to run out of energy. No. I'm so far from a campsite. Did that portal only give me plus seven? Maybe I need to be at a higher herb law level to get more out of it. That's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be a super attack. Okay, so now I have to kill the moons. Bang in. Let's go kill some Nagura instead. And this is the plan, folks. Look how much damage we're dealing. Holy shit. Every hit splat that isn't a miss is a minimum of five. I didn't even look into what these guys drop. We might actually make money here. But we've got infinite prayer and boosts. So we get to use all our prayers without giving a shit about flicking. Which is super nice. Oh, some more raw. They're dying so quick. We're doing so much damage. I'm going to just reset my hourly rates. To... I don't know what that is. What was that? Did you just drain my prayer? I don't remember reading anything about that. Use a special attack, raise the weapon if you remain within what melee range. They drain five prayer. Okay. So when they raise the weapon, we just have to step a tile away. I mean, we can just restore our prayer anyway, but the plan normally would just be to have a full invent of these potions. Apparently we're getting 90,000 XP an hour right now, y'all. What do you think? Does that seem legit to y'all? <laughs> That seems like a very high XP rate for this combat level. I'll take it. This is what it's gonna be, folks. This is what it's gonna be. Decent Chaos Rune drops as well. Like, they, these drops aren't anything crazy, but we got 12k so far in 10 kills. That's, that's not too bad. That's like a 1k average per kill, right? So, it's okay. It's nothing major, but we are here for free, so... Oh, this is so chill. The army to flick. <laughs> Y'all have no idea how relaxed I feel right now. In fact, I might just lean back my chair a bit if I can go back without affecting the green screen too badly. Let's get into recliner mode here, y'all. I think I've dodged a grand total of one of those prayer drones so far. Every time I see them, I'm just like, yeah, but who cares? I've got potions. <laughs> There is a 59 attack. The rate has slipped a little bit there. Down to 85k an hour, but like, that's still insane for fucking 78 combat level. It reckons we'll get another level in 17 minutes, which is the 60 attack I was hoping for. Nice 50 chaos rune drops. Just hit a 29 and it wasn't a max on both halves, so I'm guessing 30 is our max against these guys, which is... Pretty sexy. There's like no downtime as well because it respawns so quick. I think I probably will just pick up the noted and stackable resources though. So we'll need to go and restock my potions in a minute or two. How much is a D chain? 200k. It's not that bad. Like I'm wondering whether we just get 60 defense here with how quick the rates are before trying to kill the bosses and then we can just like wear dragon. It's non-degradable and it's better defense. Because we don't really have any tank gear for our chest and legs to take against these moon bosses. There's not really a great deal for us to choose from at our current level. But maybe granite would be okay? I've never actually worn granite gear. Body and the legs. Worse melee, better range defense. 10 more negative magic. That's not gonna affect us, but the range rather than melee is not good. Haven't seen any alka balls here so far, so I don't think I need to bring alx. Yeah, I think rune would just be better than granite, to be honest. The nice thing about these pots as well is that we're always, like, near the top of our buffs. Like, because we use them to restore our prayer as well. We're constantly resetting our combat stats, so it's like... It's like having a smelling salts active. This potion is honestly just insane. I'm guessing it's better, though, if you level your herb lore up. Let me look it up. Depends on the player's herb lore level, yeah. Oh, it depends on all of your levels. I can lock up my stats. Oh, that's so cool. There's like a calculator on the wiki. Let me see if I can get this over on screen while I'm killing these. Check this out. It looked, we looked ourselves up, so these are our stats. 
we submit it, tells us exactly what we get. So if we want it to make, let's see if we got a few more herb law levels. We get a much bigger attack boost out of that. That is interesting. I need to check what herb law requirements I have for quests. Okay, it doesn't look like I have any herb law requirements for quests, so I guess just cleaning herbs here and there. So what if we just went up one herb law level? That doesn't change anything. Two levels changes nothing. Three levels. Three levels would give us a plus five attack boost. That's wild. Why do the other ones not get a boost like that? Strength comes in at 55. Oh, it'll be when you can make the super attack and super strength. Okay, okay, I understand. That took me too long to figure out. That took me way too long to figure out. So 45 is you get the super attack benefit and then 55 you get the super strength benefit. Right, well, I'm not going to go to 55, am I? Am I? <laughs> Always the question here. You never quite know what I'm gonna do because I'm I'm so ADHD riddled. I haven't even been diagnosed, by the way, so don't take that as anything official. I haven't been for a diagnosis. Just pretty convinced I do have it. I mean, we're due our 60 attack today, which is very nice. We do need to go make potions in a sec, but can get another kill or two in. And I think from where we currently are, it's probably actually pretty quick to get to where we m need to make potions one more we should still be fine to get this level after i've topped up here we'll come in with a slightly different setup for the future runs we'll have an empty rune pouch to store some of these rune drops and just a bunch of vials so that we don't have to keep getting them from the box that took me into a different place i was expecting to come in up here okay that wasn't as close as i thought it was Probably enough. We're only going to be here another 10 minutes or so. Can you just like fill this up? No. It's basically useless to have an empty one. Why does it do this? Maybe if I get rid of that. Nope. Don't like it still. Let me make as many potions as I want, man. This is why I'd just bring vials in. Save time. Can we get straight to the other one from here? I feel like we can. Yeah, we just go through here. Don't suppose it really matters where we kill them. Just sort of autopiloted back over to this spot, but could kill the ones in the main chamber as well. Like there's five here though. That's a pretty decent amount to just sit in the middle and these drops are very like they're very mediocre, but you would expect them to be, because it's costing us zero GP to be here. And we're getting it insane XP while we're here. I slipped obviously with my little trip to uh restock on potions, but I do think I'm definitely gonna go for the 45 herb law, because we're only a few levels away from it. We could easily get it by making some cheap potions of some form, which I will look up when I'm not on the clock. So I expect us to do that tomorrow before we come back to any more training here. What's that? I don't know what we do with that. Oh, you give them to uh, Itali for 50 runecrafting experience per essence? Actually seems decent. That's that's actually not bad, right? Like, that's 400 XP in runecrafting. Like, I don't know how commonly they drop, and it seems like the only way to get them. Okay, 1 in 32 from these guys. They drop 6 to 10. Oh, but it disappears if you leave the dungeon. You can't bank it. And I can't do it until after the quest, so I'm not going to be able to use that. Okay, dead drop for now. Once we finish the quest, it turns into runecraft XP, which is worth keeping to the end of our trips. Seven and a half K XP left. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll get out of here in time to do a bird house run and everything. Honestly, who even needs sand crabs? You don't get this DPS at sand crabs. And this is as AFK. I am clicking because I'm trying to be as efficient as possible, but you could just as easily AFK this. And there'd be less of an upper limit on it in comparison to sand crabs because eventually the sand crabs die and you run out when you're hitting that hard, whereas there's more of these around, especially in the main chamber. So there's like no cap to the potential XP you could gain here as you level up. I mean, we're getting these rates even without the super bonuses from the potions, so imagine if we were getting the super attack, super strength bonus. Even more insane. <sighs> I'm gonna have to look into that herb law for sure. If I can get to 55 in like a session, I think it's worth doing. If it takes longer than a day, then it's probably not worth doing. Double 50 in there as the maxes. Good old 30 DPS from the level 78. Are all level 78s this powerful? Because I feel like a fucking machine right now and I don't remember ever feeling like that on an account this low level before. It's probably like the gear has a lot to do with it. You know, like the Fury Barrows, Fire Cape, but 
So the first coal drop. Oh no, we've had a few coal drops. It's not too bad. Made approximately 58k here today, but spent exactly zero GP. Who knows what that XP track is going to say at the end of say. I mean, we did spend like half of it doing non-training, to be fair, so it'll probably be fairly average. But man, when we get our first full day in here, that's going to be a big XP day. There's the 60 attack. Just swap straight over onto defense and just stay here for another minute or two. We don't quite need to do our bird houses yet, so. We should we need 16k? Probably not doable. Definitely not doable. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here after this kill because I want to make sure we get some gear bot. So let's just pop over here, have a look at our lovely cash stack, and just smile for a moment. Ah. In fact, let's get rid of all these potions. Ah, no, we'll need them eventually. We'll need them eventually. I really need a wee, but there's four minutes to go. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go get a bunch of dragon stuff. We get a dragon base. Oh, that's so cheap. We're gonna get a dragon sword and a dragon sim. Put that up slightly. There we go. Look at that. Like 200k for three different dragon weapons. Okay, let's get ourselves some rune plate and legs. So this will be our setup for the uh, the perilous moons attempt tomorrow. We should get a book of war as well, actually. And we will need to go over to Jossic to get a new one. Let's just make sure we get our birdhouse running. And then, if, if there's time, we'll head to the lighthouse. To be fair, I was complaining about defense. I should probably get a shield. <laughs> but, yeah, there's no way I'm uh, getting to Jossic with 15 seconds and no money currently on me. I'm just going to run it over to the bank chest over here. Mm. And there it is. Time on the day. Okay, folks, let's have a look at the XP tab real quick. I am going to start rolling the spliff because it's 4.15 though. 56k gain today. Very nice indeed. We got 32,000 attack XP, 11,000 hit points, 2,000 defense almost, standard hunter and farming. Great day. We only spent about half of it, maybe just under half even, training. The other half was spent completing Perilous Moons, doing our farming and... All the standard shit that we do, you know, visiting the GE and consolidating our cash and, and stuff. So for the amount of time that we actually spent training today, that's a very respectable tab. Tomorrow we should be able to have a go at the bosses. We've got we've got our swords and our mace and our rune gear, which should give us a better chance of actually taking them down successfully, I'm hoping. We got 3.3 mil just sat there, which is very nice indeed. We're almost up to that brimstone stone ring which will be a super huge huge benefit for our training as well so that's good all in all like things are going very well here at the minute on the series very very well indeed i'm chuffed with how our progress is is coming along this season we're up to like 60 60 57 so 60 defense is the next one actually i think 65 defense is the next one but we're gonna be doing a lot of our defense training from bursting not from melee so once i've done the perilous moons we'll probably be then going to unlock the other training spot that i'm planning to use for our magic training and probably spending a bit of time there before we go back to our melee training which does of course give us a little bit more time to consider what we want to do with herbal or as well and whether we want to go for 55 for that extra super strength dose definitely we'll be getting 45 for the super attack before even attempting to finish the quest because we're only a few levels away it seems silly not to we could probably get that in 10 minutes through at the GE. So, gonna do that tomorrow more than likely before we start the quest. But yeah, gonna have to wrap this one up, folks. Just two minutes to 420. And man, still not rolled. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a comment down below. How do you think we're doing this season? Because in my head, we're doing fucking great. But I don't know how accurate that is to how it looks to everyone else. So, let me know. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this series. I think that'd be an amazing goal to accomplish. So please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Stick around for all the future of One Hour Limit Locked and the series that I have planned to come in the future. All right, gonna log out now. Be wonderful to each other. Look after yourselves, and I will see you on the next one.